this video, I'm going to die. And all of you watching are probably gonna end up dead as well. Because I found this channel called Actually Studios, and they basically just rip off Darman, but make it five billion times worse. So we're watching one of their videos where a kid gets kicked off of a plane for playing Minecraft on it. And I'm sure that there's some very valuable lessons to be learned from this video, so hope you enjoy. Thanks, Grandma and Grandpa, for getting me this laptop for Christmas. At least you won't be glued to your Xbox all day. Can't you do real things like, you know, read about George Washington and Ben Franklin? Yeah, come on, do some real things. You know what's really real? Hop on your little computer gizmo gadget and search up George Washington and Ben Franklin. Like, what? You know, whenever I was a kid and my mom was upset about me playing too many video games or whatever, she would just tell me to go outside and go play with some friends or something. Which makes sense. What doesn't make sense is giving your child a whole entire laptop because you think that they're gonna use it to research presidents in their free time. Yeah, that's definitely what every kid out there would like to do with their free time. Harold, he's not interested in your friends. Well, with this, I can play my favorite games, like Minecraft and Forza Horizon. All he does is play games. Well, thank goodness we're taking him somewhere educational. Yeah, Junior, you're gonna love Mount Rushmore. You're gonna love Mount Rushmore. Did she like forget the line or something? She's like stuttering like, uh, shit, where are we going again in this stupid script? Like you couldn't just do a retake, have her say that single line again. I don't think it's that hard to do retakes. I literally do them all the time whenever I record these shitty videos. Then again, it does just seem like they made a super shitty attempt at putting some production quality into this video. Like they have all the materials. They have the cameras, the good lighting, all of that. But these are some of the shittiest actors I've ever seen, okay? Like we're honestly past the spy kids territory and onto a whole new one this is just absolute garbage really it's just a bunch of people's faces carved into rocks the grandparents are happy to get junior away from his xbox what they didn't realize is that junior can still play games on his laptop what is this video geared towards like the elderly or something what they didn't realize is that junior can still play games on his laptop no shit you can play games on a laptop oh my god i never knew like what is the reason in explaining this everybody out there knows that you can play games on a fucking laptop Alyssa, I haven't seen you forever. Ethan, how have you been? At flight school, I finally graduated. Damn, I knew Smosh went downhill, but you're telling me Ian fell this hard off? Jesus Christ. Burke the jerk? Yeah, they can't get rid of him. Oh, great. I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> Where is my new first officer? You mean the co-pilot. Okay, first off, what is this cutscene with these two guys talking just randomly slapped in the video? Like, there's literally no explanation for it. There's no context behind it. It has literally no purpose. It's just slapped there. It makes no sense. And second off, I do not give a shit about this little backstory with the pilots of the plane. I'm sorry, I just care about the person who's gonna get kicked off the plane for playing Minecraft. That's kind of what I came here for. So yeah, I'm gonna just skip all of this. So what are you doing, Junior? Minecraft. Don't you know what that is? So, uh, what is this? Some sort of racing game? Uh, yeah. I'm so good at this, I'm not gonna have to go to driving school. <laughs> well, the way you're driving, I don't think you're gonna have a license for very long. You ever see that car commercial where it's like a teenager playing a driving game and then the narrator goes, Soon, they'll be driving for real this time. Get this car that has self-driving. I just wanted to say that I hate that commercial, and uh, yeah, this kind of just reminded me of that. But driving in a video game is like extremely different from driving in real life. It's nowhere close. And I think everybody knows that. Nobody who plays a driving video game is like, damn, this is gonna be exactly how I'm gonna drive in real life. Well, I mean, there are some crazy ass people out there who will literally do a GTA 5 police chase in real life, but the majority of people do not drive the same way that they're gonna be driving in GTA 5 going like 300 miles an hour down ramps and shit like that commercial literally doesn't make sense doesn't have any logic behind it it shouldn't even be able to convince people to buy cars i don't even know why they run that campaign and then also this video just sucks ass totally airways flight to chicago will now start pre-boarding at gate 23. hi we're here to pre-board oh rigby right where's your child it's right here i'm a young man um pre-boarding is for children under five and wheelchair users only we're back. 
Where's your wheelchair passenger? Come on, you two. We don't have all day. So I guess that the mom is just an entitled piece of shit. I cut it out, but earlier in the video, she went up to the flight attendant and asked for pre-boarding because uh, she claimed that she had a child with her, but she just has her teenager son and her husband with her. So she's just blatantly lying to get free pre-boarding. And whenever that doesn't work out, she just gets her perfectly fine husband who has no problems whatsoever and uh, slaps him in a wheelchair. Bada bing, bada boom, and he just gets to skip the line. By the way, I don't know why anybody would want to pre-board an airplane. No, I get it. It sucks waiting in the line to get on or whatever, but I do not enjoy sitting on airplanes. I want to be in the airplane itself for as little time as possible. Why would I want to get on the plane before everyone else and have to sit there and wait for like double the time? I'd much rather wait in the lobby with the somewhat comfortable chairs where I can have my phone, the Wi-Fi, all of that. Like I genuinely don't understand why people want to pre-board. Where are our seats? Uh, they're right over there. No first class again? I go window. No, Junior. Why not? Because you know your grandma is claustrophobic. You wouldn't want me to get sick, would you? Okay, fine. I never get to do what I want. Hold up, so she says that she is claustrophobic, and that's the reason that their grandson cannot sit in the window seat. So to fight her claustrophobia, to make it so she doesn't get sick, she pushes herself into a corner surrounded by two people and a bunch of chairs and a window. Wouldn't you want the aisle seat if you're claustrophobic so you aren't surrounded by people and a wall and all of that? Like if you're sitting in the window seat, you're pretty claustered up. I don't even know if claustered's a word, by the way. You know, you're pretty smushed together there. Is he gonna play that silly Nintendo again? It's an Xbox, remember? It's not an Xbox. It's my new laptop, remember? All right, Clifton, that's it for the pre-flight checklist. Captain Berg, First Officer Clifton, I have a visitor for you. So I cut out a lot of the fluff in between here, but just so you know, they literally give no context at all whatsoever as to why this person is getting to see the cockpit and talk to the captain right now. Like they're just sitting in their seats and then it switches over to the scene with the captain and the co-pilot like sitting there talking about nothing. And then the next scene is this and it makes literally no sense at all. Wow, this is just like Flight Simulator. That's right. In fact, it'll go into simulator mode. All I have to do is flip this switch. That's so cool. Can I fly it? Fat chance, kid. Now go back to your seat. This guy is so good at playing the villain, dude. Like, he is just so mean, so full of anger, just wants to demolish the earth. I don't even know what I'm saying, but this guy sucks. Passengers, prepare for takeoff. You know what, Clifton? Why don't you take the controls? I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> okay. Now that we're in the air, please feel free to use your personal electronics. I set my course for Chicago, just like the real plane. And now I'm gonna bank left. <laughs> and now I'm gonna bank right. Oh my god, dude, that is so crazy. Flight Simulator by Microsoft can actually control real life planes. My question is, how does this relate to Minecraft in any way whatsoever? Like, I'm guessing that this is what they're gonna get kicked off the plane for or whatever, but the video is titled Kid Kicked Off Plane for Minecraft. Unless they add Minecraft or something later and the plane turns to blocks and just like falls down, I don't know. But unless something like that happens, then this is just a kid kicked off off plane for flight simulator haven't seen them load up minecraft once on the actual plane passengers the captain has turned on the fasten seat belt sign please turn off all personal electronics oh man okay well now that i have everything calmed down why don't you take over again i'm going back to sleep thank you sir <sighs> passengers now that the turbulence is over please feel free to use your personal electronics I wonder if I can do a loop-de-loop -loop without an aerial stall. No! Why is this happening to me? Wow.
Honestly, where is this guy's Oscar, dude? Holy shit. He better get one hand delivered to his airplane right now because this is probably the best acting I have ever seen in my entire life. Wait a minute. This thing's in simulator mode. Ah! Is there a passenger playing on a computer? Maybe a flight simulator? I think I know who you're talking about. Well, you're controlling this plane and I need to put a stop to it. Wow, what's with all the drama? Wow, Captain. That was a close one. Yeah, just wait till I get my hands on that kid. Holy shit, dude, it's Lion Maker, no way. I guess YouTube didn't really work out, so now he's a pilot. I don't really know what's going on. Are you that gamer kid? Uh, yeah, but it's just, uh, the Minecraft. What the fuck was that? Dude, these cutscenes are like actually terrifying, dude. What the hell? I don't care what you're playing. I want you off my plane. I want you off my airline. I want you out of my life. Ugh. What's wrong with Minecraft? And yeah, the kid got sent to prison. They're going to be spending the rest of their life there. Very, very sad stuff. Drop a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if I haven't seen enough, I got you. Check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.